So in this video, we're going to set up our payments, our taxes, and our shipping in the big commerce shopping cart. So we have our products set up, we have our colors chosen, we have our discount codes, we have our categories, we have our options. Only thing left that we have right now is to do things like our payments, our shipping and our taxes. So the first thing I wanna do first is I wanna come in here and I wanna talk about payments. And Big Commerce pretty much integrates with just about anything, right? Um, so authorize.net, uh, you can do bank deposit, which is popular overseas. You can do cash on delivery and check. You can do eWay in Australia, First Data, Heartland, which is huge here, um, but even they actually even have a pay in store option, which is fantastic uh, that you can do as well. So if you have a retail store, you can do that as well as PayPal, um, Quantum Gateway, PSI Gate, QuickBooks. You know, so they have just an absolute ton of them, even Square. I mean, they even set up with Square, which is who else is doing that? No one else is doing that. So you, know, you choose which ones you want to go. You can go into, let's say, authorize.net, add in your API. You got pay in store where it applies to so this applies only to United States and what we need to do is we need to take away authorize because it wants to keep asking for API right we can go over to square connect to square account we got stripe we can connect with stripe you can even, like I said, pay in store. So if we come down to the United States, save. Right. The pay in store option is nice if you have a retail store, right? And uh, I use PayPal. I'll be perfectly honest. I use PayPal. I've been using it for many years before Stripe came out. And because I use it for so many different things, uh, it'd be a pain in the butt for me to actually have to open up a Stripe account for all the different sites that I run. So I don't do it. But as you can see, they make it super simple. So if you hit the on button and you go ahead and set it up, it will walk you through the entire thing. Same thing with Square. Connect it with your Square account. I bet you if I hit this button here, yep, it's gonna want me to log in there, which is fine. Uh, I'm not going to connect that right now. Same thing with Stripe. Connect with Stripe and you can do this well. And so those of you wondering about Stripe, if you're used to Shopify payments, Shopify payments are just a white label Stripe. Stripe is the processor on that one. So that's as easy as that. So if we come over here to shipping, right? What I love, absolutely love about Big Commerce is their shipping options compared to Stripe. Shopify it blows them away and what they allow you to do is to set up multiple zones so you can have a local zone you could have a US 48 state zone you could have a zone for Australia one for Japan one for the UK and you can set different shipping options based on the person's shipping zone. So as you can see, I have a default zone in here. I have a Honolulu wholesale zone. I have a local Illinois zone. I have a California zone. And you can see with each of those, I have a flat rate pickup or local pickup, flat rate local, pickup and store, flat rate shipping, right? And all you, literally you come in here and let's say you come to California and you can turn on free shipping, pickup and store, flat rate shipping or ship buy. Right? And you can even turn on things like real-time quotes by US Postal Service, FedEx, or UPS. It's, it's amazing. So if I come in here to, let's see here, let's edit, cancel, let's look at the zone. Right, what I can do is, I can do it by advanced selection, and I can actually go down to the postal code. So if I live in San Jose, California, well, let's say I live in Irvine, California, and I want to use what, 95125, I think is the zip code, and anyone in that zip code can do pick up in store, I want to offer that, right? But anyone who's not in 95125, they're going to go, they're not going to show that as an option. So it's, it's actually, it's so amazing that they allow you to go down to this level. So the great thing is, is you can say, all right, 
going to the U.S., I'm using U.S. Postal Service, right? But stuff going to Australia, I'm going to use UPS. And stuff going to Japan, I'm going to use FedEx. So it gives you a lot, a lot of flex uh, flexibility and functionality um, to get that set up. And then when you're done, you come over to your taxes. Now, they've partnered up with Avalara to figure out your taxes. And the reason Avalara is doing this is they also have a service that will allow you to uh, collect and remit sales tax in multiple zones. Um, the only thing I've, I've had an issue with these automated systems, and I don't know if this applies here because this Avalara thing is brand new since I've been using it. Here in Hawaii, for example, so if I live in California and I have an 8.75% sales tax, I add that on, boom, it's done, right? Hawaii doesn't have a sales tax. They have an excise tax. The excise tax is owed by the business. So if I sell something for $20, I owe, let's say I sell something for $100, I owe $4.05 on that. Now the state says you can charge that $4.05 to your customer, just like you would a sales tax. But if I charge that $4.05 to my customer, the state of Hawaii says, well, that $4.05 is actually revenue to you. So you got to pay taxes on that 4.5%. So what they allow you to do is gross it up and I can charge 4.712% on top of it. But for example, Shopify's manual uh, automated system doesn't do that right. It just does 4.5%. And so it's one of the things that's a bit annoying to me. So go ahead and play around with it. It allows you to do different tax classes, different rates and zones. So you can do a local zone. Um, but it's, it's actually pretty powerful. It's one of the things I really like about big commerce as well. And you know, other than that, you get down to things such as your domain name, you can play around with your currencies, different integrations in here, you can do 301 redirects, and um, it's, it's really just a powerful system. And as you can see, if you're prepared before you start setting this up, literally in a day, you could have this done. So go ahead, check it out, I'll, I'll leave links below for you to go ahead and, and try it out and see if BigCommerce is the right card for you.